followers of the YouTube. I love you. I really do. But this just in Solana mainnet beta encountered a large increase in transaction load, which peaked at 400,000 transactions per second. These transactions flooded the transaction processing queue and a lack of prioritization of the network critical messaging caused the network to start forking. This fork led to excessive memory consumption, caused some nodes to go offline. Engineers across the ecosystem attempted to stabilize the network, but were unsuccessful. The validator community elected to coordinate a restart of the network. Let me say that again. The validator community elected to coordinate a restart of the network. The community is preparing a release and instructions will be posted in the Discord. This is scary. As you can see right here, the Solana team shared that the mainnet beta cluster is currently experiencing some instability. The GAPE protocol IDO seems to be the culprit for this. As per the Solana Explorer, the chain is stopped at block 96538485. This is the second incident of the mainnet instability in two weeks. The team is currently investigating the issue. My goal here is not to scare you, but to report on the truth. Solana stopped working. Hey guys, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to update you really quickly. There are hundreds of people impersonating me. They have made a business model out of it. These guys are making new accounts at will. They will copy my posts. They will copy my avatar. They are going to copy and paste everything about my life to convince you that they are me. You guys know the only thing I sell is the fundamentalsecrets.com, my digital course. So if you apply there, then yes, somebody will reach out. Other than that, guys, it's a scammer. Don't let them take your money. What's going on, everybody? Alex back with another video. And again, I am not trying to scare you. I'm simply going to lay out the facts of what happened with Solana. I'm going to go over some recent developments and how they're potentially going to solve it. And then I'm going to show you towards the end of the video a case study of what happened to Avalanche or AVAX. Yes, all the YouTubers are talking about that as well. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly what happened when they had a similar issue. If you appreciate this content and how I'm able to report it as fast as I possibly can, do us both a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with a friend. Guys, my proposition is that I am unbiased and I do not get paid by any network, any coin. I will not get paid. I don't care. And it's funny because an actual NFT platform that all of you are you know, jumping into reached out to ask me to get paid uh, for a sponsorship and I denied. Literally, I had them, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna call out any names, but on Solana, an NFT platform that everybody's aping into right now, and pretty much every YouTuber's talking about it, they are paying YouTubers and I denied this. And this is why I've been telling my YouTube uh, channel that I'm not getting into Solana. And it's not because Solana is slow. And it's not because it's, you know, the product, even though they ended up with some issues. The reason I've been telling people not to get into Solana and to jump into something else that's undervalued is because the cat's out of the bag right? Literally everyone is talking about Solana at this point. And you know, you don't want to jump into projects. It just happened to play out in a negative way when it comes to, you know, the actual product itself, but you don't want to jump into projects when it's, there's a whole bunch of hype around it. Right. Um, and this is just one of the situations where I think the top might be in for Solana. And let me, let me state my case. Okay. So if we come over here, you can see the status from the official Solana website, the mainnet beta cluster is experiencing some instability at the moment. We are aware of the problem and are currently looking into it. They have literally had to halt the whole entire blockchain. They stopped the blockchain and now they're trying to potentially restart it. They, they might have to restart it. And this is coming from the official Solana status Twitter. It's not me. The validator community elected to coordinate a restart of the network. The community is preparing a new release and instructions will be posted on the Discord. So this is actually not good. And it seems to be that it came from Radium. Their, their IDO of great protocol, you know, kind of caused this issue. If you go to the actual Explorer, you could see that the transaction per second went to a nosedive. Only 79 transactions per second. It might be the team that's doing some transactions because you cannot make a transaction on Solana right now as we speak. So the whole entire blockchain, billions of dollars, billions of dollars came to a halt. This is scary. So this brings up the question, does scalability always equal good? Not always, you know, and I've said this, and this is the reason why I've been really covering the Cardano ecosystem is because they thought of security. Security was like their number one thing. They move slow to develop the blockchain. So people, you know, have been saying, oh, uh, you know, centralization doesn't matter. It could be centralized. 
oh, it, it could be fast. And as long as it solves the current needs of the NFT marketplace and DeFi, it's going to be a great thing. And, uh, you know, they're going to get adopted and the blockchain is going to be great. In this situation, we know, or maybe I haven't told you guys, but Solana is clearly centralized, not centralized when it comes to validators, but it's centralized when it comes to VC capital. There's a lot of venture capital behind Solana and they have power over the network in, in such a way. So just understand that, you know, when you have fast transactions, it's going to come at a cost and you must pay attention that there's this reason why I'm saying Cardano sweet spot. Cardano has a sweet spot when it comes to scalability, the trilemma. You guys should know the trilemma, right? Scalability, security, and decentralization. They have a sweet spot, a unique sweet spot. And that's why I've been ranting about them for a long time. Now, I will say there's other blockchains that also have this sweet spot, like Polkadot, I think has the sweet spot, as well as, uh, you know, Phantom and some other blockchains. We're going to be talking about those in later videos. But again, just understand everything and take it in. If we look at Solana's price, it immediately dumped after we had these issues. And again, like it, we reread before, it happened twice in literally two weeks. It dumped almost 30%. That's sad. Well, it, it didn't dump. Well, that's just a week. Um, today after the issue, just to be clear, I don't want to like spread any fud. It jumped about it dumped about 7.61%. I'm sure after this, it might dump a little bit more. Uh, and let me explain why. If you can see right here, um, this guy is basically ex explaining Avalanche's network slowdown. Pretty much the same thing happened. A lot of transactions happened at the same time on Avalanche uh back in February. And just read this: Avalanche Network experienced a slowdown yesterday. So the avalanche slowdown happened on February 11th. And if you look at AVAX versus USDT, this signaled the exact top, literally the exact top right here. The exact top of AVAX happened on February 11th after its transaction issues. Now we did blow by that recently. Um, maybe we did. I mean, this is like a, this is not really, you know, blowing by it. But um, as you can see, since that event, since that one bad event right there, we have literally an 83% fall, an 83% fall. That is no joke. That's nothing to be joking about. I don't have any Solana because I've been focusing on some other ecosystems, but if I had Solana, I'll be considering uh, taking some profit, maybe uh, getting rid of some things. Maybe it's it's not, again, like I'm not trying to scare you. And now if we look at Bitcoin's price as well around the same time, Bitcoin wasn't the reason AVAX went down. Look, February 11th right here, Bitcoin actually increased after February 11th. So it wasn't Bitcoin taking down uh, AVAX at all. It increased 34%. While Bitcoin was increasing, AVAX dropped 83%. So this is a clear signal, maybe to the top, maybe to the downfall of Solana. In the short term, I do believe some of these projects are going to do well in the long term. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here. Don't shoot the messenger. Please don't shoot the messenger. I am just stating my experience on the internet Guys, I'm not spreading FUD. This is a real thing. I will update you guys in the future on what's going on with Solana. So hopefully, hopefully they do something good and they revert the blockchain and they make things all smooth again. And maybe, you know, they can ex increase the transaction per second. But hopefully this doesn't happen again. This is a wake, wake up call for all layer ones. Any layer one that you're in, they, they're going to have vulnerabilities. So it's almost better to just Worry about the slow, well-built, well-thought-out ones instead of just, you know, going all in. I don't even know what to say, to be completely honest with you. I don't. Uh, just be careful guys out there. Understand it's the wild, wild west of finance. Everything's brand new. We are on the cusp of innovation. It's going to have its risks, but it's also going to have its rewards. So if you lost money on Solana, it's okay. There's there's ways you could definitely make it back. This is the one market that you're probably going to be able to hit. And, you know, like I've said in my other videos, I think the bull run is going to continue only halfway there. So a lot of gains to be made. Just be careful out there and I will update you guys on what happens to Solana in the future once we have a fix. That's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this, guys. Catch you in the next one.